Fast forwarding to the most exciting part, the actual wedding. So we went to the villa and it was stunning. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm so excited to make this video today. Cat's out of the bag. It's time to talk about it. All right, if you've been following me for a while, you would know that your girl got engaged. She's a fiance last September, so September 20th, 2021. When Alex and I got engaged, we full blown started planning for a wedding in Chicago. I have a whole video on our wedding planning process in Chicago, so if you're looking to get married in Chicago, there's a lot of good information in that. However, I decided to throw everything I knew to the wind and start from scratch and sweet dear Alex, went along with me for the ride and I'm so glad I did because we are getting married in Portugal. To jump right in, my most commonly asked question was why are we getting married in Portugal? We started planning our wedding here in Chicago and we were just having a really hard time with it. We are super blessed to have so many amazing friends and family, but if we did it in Chicago, I would have felt like we needed to invite like literally everyone. And I didn't want like a big huge wedding where the entire night was spent of Alex and I going around and saying hi to everybody. When we talked about our wedding, like the things that we envisioned for it were like fun and easygoing, not stressful at all, a great party, not spending our entire life savings on it, and just being able to spend really great quality time with our friends and family. So started planning in Chicago. It is so heinously expensive. Like it's absurd how expensive it is to have a wedding in Chicago. And as we were looking into it, we'd built out our budget and saw what we could get in Chicago. And yes, we could have afforded a wedding here, but it literally would have been like just the eight hours. Like it wouldn't have been this big experience. We would have spent so much money for just just the day of, and that would have been us cutting corners. We just weren't having fun because I didn't care about all of the little details. I didn't want to be in charge of finding a vendor for flowers and cake and hair and makeup and DJ and bar and catering, all of these things that like they're important, but I'm not going to die over them essentially. And so started looking into what would it be like if we did a destination wedding? And I think our big thing was most destination weddings I feel like are in Mexico and that really just didn't feel like our vibe. Pivoted, looked into some other options and we landed on Portugal because few reasons. Portugal has been really, really budget friendly to get to. The flights have usually been around 400. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that sticks. And then it's a pretty inexpensive country once you're there. So for our friends and family to come out there, honestly, it would have been the same price, if not possibly even cheaper than them coming to Chicago because of how expensive hotels are. So many of our friends and family don't live in Chicago that they would have all had to have traveled in anyway. So it would have just been probably more expensive to go that route. I must have searched every single wedding villa that exists in Portugal, Spain, France, and Italy. And we found our dream spot in Portugal. It's 30 minutes outside of Lisbon. So everyone can fly into Lisbon. It's like a $30 Uber for them to get from the airport to the villa. And the one thing that was like most important to me that I'm so excited for is everyone gets to stay on site. And for the night of the wedding, it's included. So we are covering everyone's night stay for the wedding night. So everyone just gets to be there. It's gonna be so fun. Like no one has to leave. It can just be really chill and easy. Ugh. I'm so excited. That being said, we went to Portugal last week to go check everything out because even though we'd booked everything, we had never been. And so we went to go look at where to do the events leading up to the wedding, as well as the venue, our tasting, and talk to our wedding coordinator and ugh, I'm sweating. It was so amazing. For our wedding, we are gonna do events leading up to the day of. So we wanna do a welcome cocktail reception for all of our guests. We're probably gonna have about 50 people. I thought that this would be a really great way for everyone to be able to get to know each other. Like by the time the wedding comes around, I want everyone to feel like they know every single person in the room and that we're all friends. Cause we're all there to celebrate our love and like I don't want it to feel like a bunch of strangers. So welcome reception, we're gonna do open bar. We went to a couple of different places and I think Fingers crossed, we landed on a perfect, beautiful rooftop, which is just gonna be like so dreamy. I'm so excited. But in order for us to find it, we obviously had to go and have cocktails at multiple different places. <laughs> I'm hoping to get that one booked soon. The thing with booking a wedding in Portugal, things are just a little slower. Here in the States, we have like a go get it done attitude, which I definitely carry as well. And like people are responding to my emails a week later and it's killing me softly, but it's their culture. Just rolling with the punches, it's fine. Anyways, the night before the wedding, instead of doing your typical like rehearsal dinner, we aren't doing a wedding party. So I just wanna do dinner with everyone. And I'm, 
I haven't even told my guests this, but I am hoping to make it like a big roast. And Alex and I humbly love to be the center of attention. So I think it'd be really fun to just like kind of open the floor and be like, anyone who wants to give a speech this night, the floor is yours have at it. So we looked at a couple different restaurants. We have a couple different inquiries out. Literally no one's responded to me and it's been three business days. <sighs> but waiting to hear back from those and hoping to just have like an intimate space that we can book out and have speeches going so people can get to know our relationship with each other a little bit better. Okay, fast forwarding to the most exciting part, the actual wedding. <sighs> so we went to the villa and it was stunning like it was so much prettier than i expected because we booked everything online we tried to have this mentality of like okay it might not be perfect the pictures we may have seen may have been from like 10 years ago it's all gonna be fine like it doesn't need to be incredible we really don't care however we showed up at this villa and it's so pretty like it literally blew me away it exceeded all of my expectations. It's technically a hotel and there's like two parts of it. And there's like the villa at the top and then down below is a hotel where there's like a restaurant where we get free breakfast, which includes wine. They include free sparkling wine in our breakfast, which is incredible. There's the pool, there's a spa, reception. That's all like down below. So we have the entire upper half and it's this like U-shaped villa with a bunch of rooms in it. Our bridal suite, which is included, every single one of those rooms is going to be filled with our friends and family so we walked through there and like we went through the hall and we looked into one of the rooms just to kind of get an example and i literally have butterflies thinking about it right now because the idea of like walking down that hallway and knowing that every single one of those rooms is going to be filled with someone that we love so much like i could freaking cry i literally could cry right now just thinking about it it is my dream come true it's gonna be like a sleepover vacation trip with everyone we love and i'm so excited the entire area was just so pretty our wedding planner was phenomenal i feel like she really understood what we want from our wedding and she was really cute and at the end she was like okay don't get me wrong i love every single wedding i do but it's really fun for me to do one like this where i can relate so much and blah 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 and i was just like yes you get me. So walking through with her and her just explaining, this is where we'll do dinner and here's how we do tables. They take care of everything. That's the best part about this is it's a wedding villa. And so they probably bust out so many weddings, but it's gonna be really turnkey because of that. They have the people for the flowers, the cake, the DJ, and all of that was included in one set price. So we don't have to worry about going like wildly over budget because we knew what everything was going to cost going into it. So when it comes closer, all I have to do is say like, here's examples of flowers I like. This is the kind of cake we want. I don't even know. We're making, we're building out a wedding playlist, but like I don't have to do anything else. And I didn't wanna do anything else. Like table decor, they handle all of that. I just gotta send in like my pictures of inspo and whatnot. But like, it's just really, really seamless and easy so it was really fun going through with her we got to see where the dance floor would be where our first dances would be like and that room was prettier than I thought it was gonna be just all of it was really incredible and I can't freaking wait I'd bring up something and she'd be like not an issue oh we have a kid coming she'd be like babysitter no problem like oh I won't be in Portugal again to be able to do my trial until the week of not a problem like everything she was just like got it handled no worries which i love i don't want to stress like that's my big thing i just don't want to stress over any of it i'm just too excited we also did our menu tasting and like holy cow it was so fun it was also so freaking hot in the room we were in i was like drunk and sweaty by the time we left but it was so much fun we got to try two different options from every course it's a four course meal four courses if we did our wedding in chicago we were going to serve pizza like this is so extravagant and i'm so freaking excited they gave us like different options from each of the courses to try so we could pick what we wanted and then they included the wine that they'll be serving at the wedding and the different like aperitifs it blew us away so yeah that's my big reveal and now that the cat's out of the bag because i didn't want to talk about it until we'd gone and we knew like for sure that this is what we were going to do but now that we're like solid in there it's happening i'm so excited to share more of our wedding process and everything going on with you guys because this is the dream and i'm so excited to marry alexander i love him so much all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment them down below. I'm gonna be sending out more wedding videos as we get a little bit closer, so you'll be able to keep in the loop. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you next time.